Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys, Maka here playing Dying Light, showing you a glitch that'll allow you to have unlimited money by allowing you to duplicate your weapons and then sell them. So the first thing you're gonna need is the melee throw skill, which is in the power section. I believe you need to be around level six and it will require you to spend one skill point. This method is the same method that actually worked in Dead Island. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is probably go to a safe point with a trader. I decided to pick the main tower as I found it a convenient place for me to be, and I knew it had everything inside that I could possibly need. You're gonna wanna store all of your weapons except the most valuable one you have. You can see its value in its stats, and at my time of recording, my cricket bat was the most valuable. Um, but as you're getting more and more money, you'll be able to buy better and better things and then duplicate better and better weapons. Now, in order to do this, what you need to do is melee throw the weapon, preferably at a wall, so you don't have to run too far, and then immediately go to your inventory and drop the weapon. Now, if you're doing this with a very heavy weapon that requires a longer throw animation, um, it might not work as easily as you see me doing it here. You might have to wait a little bit longer um, after the animation ends in order to do this. Um, but as you throw the weapon, bam, open up your inventory, drop the weapon. It'll drop the weapon from your inventory um, even though you already threw the weapon. And because that weapon is in the air, it'll still land and you'll have the one that you drop. So you're basically, every time you throw a weapon and drop it, you're making two of that weapon. As you saw, I came outside with one or two cricket bats, and you'll see I'll have eight or nine of them on the floor in front of me here. Obviously, you're gonna want an increased backpack size in order to hold more weapons, so that you can do more and more at the same time, and you can make more money for each trip that you make. As you see here, me picking up all these cricket bats. I have a whole bunch of them now, and remember, I started out with one or two, and I can sell every single one of these. So I'm just gonna continue doing this until I'm uh, all out, and I fill up my backpack with cricket bats. So we're just gonna keep going. Again, we're throwing it. As soon as it's in the air, we're gonna open up our inventory and drop the same the weapon that we threw. Um, again, depending on what kind of weapon it is, some weapons have longer um, uh, throwing animations, but whenever your inventory is full, you're gonna to wanna to sell all of the weapons you have, but make sure, this is very important, make sure you leave at least one so you can do this again later. If you don't leave any, then you won't be able to do it. Once you're here, sell all of them except one, like I said. So that's gonna make me a few thousand dollars right off the bat very, very easily. This is also a great way to get the trading company achievement for selling. Uh, $10,000 worth of stuff. Remember, the more valuable the weapon, the more money you can make each time. So if you have a whole bunch of money, feel free to go to a trader and buy his most valuable weapon, which in this case was um, a police baton, I wanna say. I don't know, a crude pick. So that crude pick is worth more than my cricket bat. So I'm just gonna put the cricket bat away into storage. And I'm gonna be using the exact same method using the crude pick because I know it's worth more money. I can do the same exploit and the same glitch to duplicate that weapon and then sell those for more money, making uh, my money go up faster. And you can do this continually and continually and you can get better and better weapons. A great thing to use for this is the X, the X caliber or the EXP caliber sword. I have a video on my channel about how to get that sword. It's one of the most valuable uh, items in the game. It's also an extremely powerful sword, so you can make 10 of them if you wanna carry around 10 of them. Um, it'll help you uh, kill enemies really, really easily later on in the game. And because it has such low durability, it is one of its downfalls, but if you can make 10 of them and not have to pay for them, and you can sell them after you're done with them for a lot of money, it's worth it. Now, if you have multiple weapons, like I am doing here, you're gonna have to make sure you drop the one at the top of the list in order for the duplication to work. If you drop the one at the bottom when you're throwing it and you're actually throwing the one at the top, it won't duplicate the weapon. So as you saw, I threw it and you have to drop the top one at the list or else it won't work. You can rinse and repeat this as long and as many times as you want, doing it with better and better and more valuable and more valuable weapons until you are happy with the amount of money you have, the amount of weapons you have, or the quality of weapons you have. Now, like I said, you wanna probably do this with an amazing weapon like the EXP Caliber Sword 
or you can even do it with the Korbeck mach the Korek machete that you can find later on in the game. I'll have a video up for that later. Um, but that's how you're going to want to do this. And you can just keep doing this, keep selling the ones you duplicate, and you can basically have unlimited, infinite money if you so desire. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if this was useful to you, you can press that like button in order to help support the channel in the future. You can also subscribe to watch some of that content that I make in the future. And hopefully, I see you there. Peace.